First, let me say I take full responsibility for my own actions. All right, all right, I apologize. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize unreservedly. I offer a complete and utter retraction. You know, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry for that time. I'm sorry to my fans. I'm, I'm really busted up over this, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I think you know in life uh, pretty much what's a good thing to do and what's a, a bad thing. And um, I did a bad thing, and there you have it. Pussy. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Most of you are back to work now, and um, you're go- getting through the grind, and I appreciate you taking the time to share your day with me. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and if you haven't yet, there's a red subscribe button down below. Please do consider clicking it. I would greatly appreciate the support, and if you're watching on BitChute or Odyssey or Rumble, please subscribe there as well. I really appreciate your support and I will continue to push to support alt tech. Now, Pat Oswalt, one of the sniveliest two faced, um, you know, social justice comedians out there, uh, had a bit of a epic backfire this weekend when he dared to take a picture with Dave Chappelle. Now, a lot of people are quick to forgive him. People look, you know, have sympathy on him because of what happened to his wife and I do for that, but that was a long time ago and it doesn't excuse his consistent garbage behavior. Patton Oswalt took a picture with Dave Chappelle. Then he had some assistant of him take a picture of him writing a huge, absurd, ridiculous apology about taking a picture with a black man. How very progressive. The whole thing is absolutely hilarious and I'll get into that right after a quick word from this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Hey, October is Cybersecurity Month, and they've got an amazing offer for you. It's 2021. If you don't have a VPN yet, there are several reasons why you want to sign up today. One, you can browse anonymously. Keep your browsing habits to yourself. You can keep your data away from big tech so that they can't resell it and you can access region lock content so you can open up a whole new catalog of online content to enjoy, whether it's anime or movies that might not be available in your area, you can get at it using a VPN. And the VPN I use on my phone, my tablets, my PCs, and my laptops is private internet access, and they've given an amazing offer. It's just $1.98 a month with four months free with a three-year subscription. If you haven't signed up today, use my link in the description or pinned comment down below to get private internet access today. Now, if you remember, you know, Pat Oswalt was on what, King of Queens. Um, he actually played a decent, like, sniveling loser on um, Justified. Um, he had that epic uh, Star Wars um, filibuster. In general, I don't really have any problem with Z list actor Pat Oswalt's career. In fact, he's kind of a niche actor who does a decent job in that niche. However, in case you don't remember, back in 2016, he went after my, probably my all-time favorite YouTube channel, Angry Video Game Nerd, simply because Angry Video Game Nerd said he had no interest in the all-female Ghostbusters reboot. You can have him say, I really wanted to hate the Cinemasker Ghostbusters review, but I'm such a fan of noisy, thick saliva swallowing, it won my heart. Fair enough. I like Cinemasker. I'm just tired of this preemptive criticism. Society is imploding. It's gross. I mean, it's, you know, and then people took it too far. But now, Patton Oswalt took a picture on Instagram, okay? And then, since he's been courting these kind of woke weirdos his whole life, they destroyed him. Um, You know, and you see, here's Shane Gillis. Uh, famous cancel comedian, right? Um, you see this. When the woke crowd went after Shane Gillis's career, Patton Oswalt egged them on. But when the crowd turned on Chappelle, Oswalt, Oswalt declared that he's not, quote, done evolving, learning, and listening. You could see this. Strap in because my comedy is super edgy. Go ahead then. No, no, you don't get it. I push boundaries. Then push them. Let me decide. This is a PC free zone. Show don't tell. Uh, you know, going on. No one pushes boundaries less than a comedian who describes their comedy as pushing boundaries. Retweeting Matt Oswalt. And then he issues this absolutely pathetic apology. But 
making sure he had somebody take his picture for it. I saw a friend I hadn't seen in a long time this New Year's Eve. We've known each other since we're teens. He's a fellow comedian, the funniest I've ever met. I wanted to post a picture on Instagram story about it, so I did. The friend is Dave Chappelle. 34 years we've been friends. Let me just stop you right there. I have friends, I have some guy friends that I've been friends with for maybe 20 years or something like that. 20 years means I will never apologize to anonymous weirdos on the internet. Okay. I can't imagine being friends with somebody for 34 years and then apologizing to the rage mob on the internet. I'd be coming out both fingers flying at any kind of apology. He's refocused and refined ideas. A lot of us took as settled about race, history, and life on the planet earth and spun them around with a phrase or punchline. We've done bad and good gigs open mics spelt wrong, and TV tapings. But we are also 100% disagree about the trans rights and representation. I support trans people's rights. By the way, Dave Chappelle never said he didn't. This is, this is the friend? With friends like this, who needs enemies? To live safely in a world as their fullest selves. All for the things he's helped me evolve, I'll always disagree with where he stands now on trans issues, but I also don't believe a seeker like him is done evolving learning. You know, someone that long see the struggles and changes, it's impossible to cut them off. Impossible not be hopeful and open and cheer them on. Also, I've been carrying a lot of guilt about friends I've cut off who had views which I couldn't agree or changed in ways I couldn't live with. By the way, you're an idiot. That's that's the exact kind of beta behavior. I have lots of friends whose political opinions I disagree with. You know what? This is I know this is like crazy for some Hollywood weirdo, but I know for my viewers, you'll understand. You know what I do? We don't talk about politics. We talk about the Green Bay Packers or the bot. We talk about sports. We talk about um, the weather. We talk about. Um, funny things going on in our city. We talk about music. We talk about it's so easy to have a friend whom with you disagree with on political stuff and just not let that ruin your friendship. That's what real friends do. Real friends don't expect their other friends to be in lockstep with them about every political opinion that exists. Anyway, he goes on. Uh, sometimes I wonder, did I and others cutting them off make them dig their heels in deeper, fuel their ignorance with a nitro boost of resentment and spite. I'm an LGBTQ ally. I'm a loyal friend. No, you're not. You're not a loyal friend because a loyal friend would never apologize and throw their other friend under a bus. By the way, it's not like Pat Oswalt has any pull, but I'm just saying. There's a friction in those traits that I need to reconcile myself and not let cause feels of betrayal in anyone else and i'm sorry this is what he's sorry for a picture with dave chappelle somebody whom he man dave's still on the sigs come on dave he he is supposedly this dude's 35 year friend and he's apologizing for taking a picture with his own friend this is the woke idiots eating their own self-canceling he wrote Finished my set at some Macaw Hall, probably a 12-person event, and got a text from Dave Chappelle. Come over to the arena he's performing in next door and do a guest set. Why not? I wave goodbye to this terrible year with a genius I started comedy with 34 years ago. He works in arena like he's talking to one person and charming their skin off. Anyway, I ended the year with a real friend and a deep laugh. I can't ask for more. What's wrong with that? So what? Why are you apologizing for that? Because you're a sniveling worm? I mean, this is not the kind of... And by the way, make no mistake about the kind of guy that Patton Oswalt is. He is, he is, at the end of the day, a man who does, does not live by his own morals. 
he does not actually have an opinion because we can look here on January 2nd. I cannot believe I have to say this, but whether Pat Oswalt strikes you as a nice guy is less relevant than his years-long position on Chappelle's side of things as someone who thinks PC police are ruining comedy. Well, but then why did he try to get involved in his own cancel culture? Why did he get somebody to take a picture of him writing his apology as a visual to convey that he's super duper serious? I mean, it's just weak. You see, huh? SJW has made Steve Martin delete an eloquent tweet about Carrie Fisher because male gaze or something. Still can't believe Trump won. This is from 2016. Political correctness is a war on noticing. Wow, Daniel Tosh had to apologize for a self-aggrandizing idiot to a self-aggrandizing idiotic blogger. I hope I never have to do that again. Patton Oswalt knows the truth, but he's too afraid and too cowardly to stand on his own two feet and say it. So instead, he doesn't get you don't get credit for these takes, Patton Oswalt, because you couldn't handle that, you know, uh cinema, you know, uh, AVGN didn't like, didn't want to watch the all female Ghostbusters reboot. You don't get the credit to take the picture with Dave Chappelle and then have someone take a picture of you apologizing for it. This is a man with no morals, with no sense of what he believes, and he should not be listened to. And the fact that he apologized for taking a picture of somebody he called his 35 year friend is absolutely pathetic. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Private Internet Access if you don't have a VPN yet. It's 2022. Get it today. Save huge using my code. We'll talk to you again real soon.